Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. The Fedora 36 beta has been released, so I installed the ARM version, the Arch 64, on a USB stick, and I'm going to test it on my Phytium ARM computer. So I'm going to press F2 to get to the boot menu. And I'm going to select my USB stick. Okay. So it's booting Fedora 36 has the 5.17 kernel and yeah booting from a USB stick is of course not the fastest so this might take a while And I'll also leave a link to the Fedora image and also to some video on how to write the image to a USB stick. Well, here it says, welcome to Fedora Linux 36. Start the setup. And, well, Let's just say I don't need location services for the moment. Uh, I'll leave automatic problem reporting on. I want to enable third party repositories. And I don't need to connect my online accounts. So. Next. Yeah, it's just a demo setup, so I don't care about the password here. And we're done. Um, well, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the desktop background uh, no so let's see um, go to the settings so it says the Fedora Linux 36 it's using Wayland. Uh, let's see if there are any updates. If it wants to go there. Oh, and it uses GNOME 42 beta. And looks like it doesn't really like to check on the software updates. So, oh, <laughs> it was just freezing. <laughs> and now it's sort of unfrozen. Meanwhile, then let's start Firefox. Mm -hmm. 
Ah. Loading updates. And Firefox is starting up. Let's see. Wait, okay. Oh, I don't know how long this usually takes to load the updates, and I'm guessing it should not be too much because it has been recently released well, let's see if this gets a bit responsive So, 500 fishes and nah, it's trying to get to 60 frames per second but it just misses it by a couple of frames. But I think this is... Um, Not bad for this little ARM computer with an AMD RX 550. So let's see when we go to 1000 and the FPS drops to around 35, 37. Well, there are a lot of updates and I guess I won't bore you with that. Uh, so this was just a quick look at the Fedora 36 beta on the Octa-Core ARM Phytium computer. I'll try to do some more testing with Fedora and I hope to see you again in my next video.